Hello, hello. Hello, hello. Happy hump day. It's coming. It's coming along. I'm constantly like rearranging stuff um, to share the light. The grow light is on today. Like if, if I turn off the overhead light, that grow light, that's plenty of light, man. That's good stuff. That was a, that was a good investment, but I need the overhead light to see what I'm doing. So, um, so yeah, so I'm going to go in today and, um, redo some tomatoes that have not come up yet. Um, some of them did and are doing just fine. And I had arugula that actually came up overnight. So now that's two sets of seeds that I've had come up overnight. I'm telling you, those frequency stickers are no joke. Holotech.biz, right? And I'm going to go ahead and um, redo some tomatoes. I write things down, like I'll draw the tray and then I'll, I'll write down what's in it. And then that way I can track what doesn't come up because not everything comes up usually. I'm having a really good year as far as most of this stuff. If I can keep it healthy, I'm gonna have even extra plants, which will be cool. But some of the tomatoes, and they always give me a hard time. There's some that just don't come up. So I'm gonna go in and um, redo some of those tonight. But real quick, I just wanted to jump on and um, first of all, show you that. and. I should probably move this and actually show you the arugula. I'm so excited. I know it sounds stupid, but that's arugula right there. Came up overnight. Very excited about that. And then I've got spinach in the tray next to it. And I don't remember what that is in the other one. Oh, I think it might be um, zucchini. And I did that just yesterday. So it's coming. See, look at the light. Let me see if I can actually get up underneath here. See it? LED grow light. Best investment ever. That, along with the frequency stickers, there's like no reason why I shouldn't be like tooling right along. I started another tray of ginger. That just reminded me when I was looking at it earlier that I have to put that video up because I don't think I did yet. But I'll show you what the ginger looks like. Um, that is a 100% experiment this year. I've never grown it before and it's really hard. So that'll be interesting. But anyway, so I wanted to jump on and, and do something. I, I don't know. I don't know what people will think about this. I, I guess I don't care, right? Otherwise I wouldn't, I wouldn't have a YouTube channel, but, um, I just wanted to give a shout out to some other channels, right? That I'm having some fun with lately. Um, because I, I, I read, I mean, I read a lot and I can read very quickly and I can take in a lot of information by reading, but a lot of times at night I'm, I'm done. Like I don't feel like reading, but I'll listen to YouTube while I'm like making myself dinner or whatever. So, um, there's a couple of really good channels on a variety of things. So you already know that the frequencies, um, well, you knew about holotech.biz. I don't know if you know that they've also got a YouTube channel. So if you go and do a search on holotech, it should come up holotech R&D. And I'll put all the links below for every channel that I'm going to mention here. But holotech R&D is a good one. And he's got like explanations of how to use the stuff. He shows you which ones are free, which ones are not. Um... I mean, that's just, that's a real good one. So, so much of it is free. Like use the free stuff. The, the black ones that I charge the rocks on, those are, um, you can download those for free. I mean, I get them laminated. You can order those, but, and you can order all sorts of other stuff. Like if you're into like organ and, you know, enter, you know, any kind of energy work, I mean, but the channel is good too. So go check out the channel. Um, so there's a um, channel called Thrive Movement, T-H-R-I-V-E, Movement. So these guys are incredible. This is actually, if I'm not mistaken, so you've heard of Procter & Gamble. So this is one of the, um, this is one member of the Gamble family. And if I'm not mistaken, I don't think he has anything to do with the company anymore or very little. And he is on a mission, let me tell you. So they put out a documentary 
a couple of years ago called Thrive, What in the World Will It Take? Or no, What on Earth Will It Take? Thrive, What on Earth Will It Take? And um, that's still out there for free. Well, they made a second one. You have to pay for it currently, but I think at some point soon they're going to put it out for free. So their channel, they put some really good stuff on their channel. It's called Thrive Movement. So check that out. Um, so I was mentioning a couple of weeks ago um, how the earth is very busy lately. And that continues. We had yet another volcano, a new one this time, not a repeat, um, go off this week. So there are actually two channels that cover things like volcano eruptions and earthquakes. Um, Mary Greeley News, Mary Greeley, G-R-E-E-L-E-Y News. She kind of tends to hover around, um, oh, why am I drawing a blank? What's the national park that's got Yellowstone? Um, she goes in and looks at all the, the live webcams and all the reporting and um, she does a really good job and she's pretty much Johnny on the spot. Like when something happens, she's usually on within a couple hours and, um, she goes out to Twitter and she pulls all the Twitter feeds and talks about who, you know, who felt what, and she does a really good job. She knows a lot about like the lava chambers and the movement of a lot of the lava and stuff like that. Um, I like that channel. That's a good one. And her videos are short. Like you're not sitting there for an hour. So that's a good one. Now, if you want to sit there for an hour with something in your ear, Dutch Sense, D-U-T-C-H-S-I-N-S-E, Dutch Sense. Both of them are on Twitter, by the way, also. Um, but he does a worldview, like a planetary view, and he'll just get, he uses some software. I don't know. I mean, that's some shit, man. He gets in, he gets down in the weeds, like talking about, he'll zoom down in and show you where like maybe fracking might have been the cause of, you know, something here or there. He does a real good job too. So both of those are good. Both of those channels. Um, okay. So I stole a phrase a couple of videos back and I probably need to give credit where credit is due. So there's a channel that I've been following called Patriot Straight Fighter. Patriot is one word. Straight Fighter is one word. And I think you want to look for Patriot Straight Fighter 7 and Patriot Straight Fighter 8 because Scott McKay, who's the owner of those channels, has, he's got to be on like, I don't know, his eighth or ninth channel. He keeps getting shut down <laughs> because of the subject matter that, I mean, it's, you know, I'm laughing, but it's really not funny, y'all. Okay. Like, free speech has gone by the wayside <laughs> drastically in the last couple of years. It's, it's unbelievable. Anyway, so Patriot Street Fighter, and I think you want to look for Patriot Street Fighter 7 or Patriot Street Fighter 8. But he, those, the phrase that I used was, well, there were two. The Kazarian Mafia was one. And I've never heard anybody else use that except for him and maybe like one other person. And then Fork and Scumbag is totally 1,000% Scott's phrase. So I owe Scott an apology. Mr. McKay, if you hear this, I owe you an apology. I stole your phrase and I used it. So, because I like it. <laughs> and it's fitting. And it's a little better than my normal vernacular, which would not have been Forkin. I'm just going to throw that out there, okay? So he's he gets really cool guests. And he does a phenomenal job explaining exactly what's been going on. Like how this planet was literally hijacked and how it's been run for a couple thousand years. He's amazing. Um, just so that you're aware, the beginning of every video, he actually reads. It's him. It's a recording of him reading the preamble. I think it's the preamble to the Constitution or the Declaration of Independence. I can't remember. There's a reason he does that. That's what his subject matter revolves around. So good stuff. Um, and no holds barred. So a lot of times he'll do a live and um, he'll take it off the next day and put it up on Rumble. He is also on Telegram. So look for Patriot Street Fighter on Telegram because he'll also put um, the links to um, the Rumble location where his videos go. So that's good stuff. And then... Another one that I'm really enjoying, I'm kind of surprised, is David Nino Rodriguez. Now, he used to be a boxer, and he was one of the best in the world, and he is retired now. He's also a recovering alcoholic. Great guy. And um, 
He gets some good guests on there too. He just flat out keeps it real. I love that channel, David Nino Rodriguez. Um, and I already told you about Holotech R&D. Um, if you are interested in aircraft and tracking aircraft at any given time, just about, Monkey Works US. So Monkey Works, but Works is W-E-R-X, two words, and then US. This guy is amazing. So he's um, ex-military and he uses whatever flight radar tracking site he uses, but he knows how to use all the different layers and everything. And he knows exactly where everything is like constantly. He's amazing. He jumps on every once in a while and does like a live update. For example, I want to say last week or the week before, we actually had two Air Force twos up in the air. I'm pretty sure that's what it was. Um, which is very unusual. <laughs> and he tracks like a lot of the traffic that we think he thinks might be going back and forth between the U S and a certain, we'll just say a certain offshore location that's built to contain people for very specific reasons for very long periods of time. I'm just going to leave it at that. Okay. Monkey works us. That's a good one. Now these guys, okay, so this channel is so cool because they don't have a huge following. Go give them some love. Patriot Transition Voice. These guys have probably the most diverse guests on their on their show. I can't even believe they haven't been taken down yet. I just, I can't. Now watch, I hope I didn't jinx them. Nope, I'm gonna throw that out into the universe, not happening, they're protected, right? Um, Okay, so these guys did actually on November 3rd, they did a live stream that lasted all, I kid you not, I'm not exaggerating, all night long. Like they alternated hosting, <laughs> there's two hosts, um, Duncan and Steve, and they literally did a live stream the entire night. So I lit, I had them on and was listening to them with the TV muted. And I was just, you know, like bouncing around TV channels that night. And they just had different guests jumping in and out the whole night. It was incredible. But they talk about a range of things. Like their guests are really very cool. Um all, like all like all sorts of stuff. They it, they just they talk about all sorts of stuff. Great great show. Um, I forgot to look this up before I started this video, but I think if you just do a search on Trey Smith T R E Y Smith, um, his website is actually called GodInAnutshell dot com. He takes a very interesting. Um, a very interesting view of a lot of different things and he he ties trust me he ties together spiritual and mathematical in a way that I promise you you've never heard before and it makes sense and and I, I get I get the impression he's wicked smart um, I, I shouldn't have said wicked I mean you know talking about him I probably shouldn't have said it like that uber smart right but he speaks in a way that you'll follow good stuff. Um, Trey Smith, T R E Y Smith. And then for live news, uh, let's see here. So Mustang medic is a good one. Um, he just did a road trip and he did, you know, lives here and there along the road trip. And he just finds wacky stuff. People that, you know, might be, it might be a single person protest and he'll go up and be like, here, say what you got to say. You know what, what do you have to say? When the people want to know and he'll, and he'll do like a pop-up live on it. Um, so that, that's good stuff. He seems like a cool guy. He traveled, he, the last road trip he just did was with a couple of different guys. And, um, one of them actually also has his own channel where he discusses, um, American history that you don't learn in school and the Bible and, um, the constitution, if I'm not mistaken, if I recall correctly. So Mustang medic is a good one. And, um, most of these guys are also on telegram. So if I'm not on Facebook or, um, um, what the hell is the other one? Oh, Twitter anymore. I'll probably be able to, I'll be able to have accounts for this channel, but I have to get a new piece of equipment in order to do that. Cause I don't think they'll let you on, on the same device, but until I do, I'm not, but all, so I've been following people on telegram. So all of these are on, almost all of these are on telegram as well. Um, so Mustang medic is a good one for, um, news and then for on the ground news in DC, not only Mustang Medic, but 
Richard Citizen Journalist. Now, he is only on Telegram, but he does a good job as well. I mean, he'll literally just, he'll he'll do a live stream, like, from his car, like, driving around D.C., which is, like, a freaking ghost town right now. It's amazing. And then he'll get pictures of, like, the day's headlines and post those. And when the National Guard was in town, um, he took out collections. And he would literally do a live stream while he was going in and picking up food and stuff. And he would show the receipts and stuff. So that was kind of cool. So both of those guys are on the ground in D.C. And Mustang Medic is the one with the YouTube channel. So... Yeah, that's all I got. I just thought that it would be interesting to kind of cover them real quick. And um, I'll pop on in the next couple of days, and the seedlings will be bigger, and I'll have more stuff planted. And so uh, I will see you at that time. So in the meantime, much love, and I will talk to you later. See ya.